Hey Colts, this is Mrs. Haladin. I hope that you are doing great. Um, I'm here to read a story called Actual Size by Steve Jenkins. And I'm reading this story because it's a science-y kind of story and a math story. And um, the link that I have posted today has to do with science. And so I thought that would be kind of fun. So here we go, Actual Size by Steve Jenkins. And this is another wonderful book from Mrs. Beck. We are so lucky to have some of her math and science books. Here we go. Oh, this right here is a pygmy shrew, and it is two inches long. And the atlas moth is so large that it is often mistaken for a bird. Its wingspan, so the distance across from edge to edge, is 12 inches. That's enormous. That's like the length of a ruler. Did you ever look a giant squid in the eye? Have you shaken hands with a gorilla or been face to face with a tiger? All of the animals in this book are shown at actual size, so you can see how you measure up to creatures both large and small. A dwarf goby is the smallest of all fish. Its length is one third of an inch. Okay, here's the whole page. What do you think that's a picture of? All right, let's zoom in and find out. The giant squid lives deep in the ocean where its enormous eyes help see in the dim light. I'm going to come over here. The body and tentacles are up to 59 feet long and the eyes are 12 inches across. That's the same as that moth we just saw. The Alaskan brown bear is the largest meat-eating animal that lives on land. Its height is 13 feet, which is about twice as tall as most adults, and it weighs about 1,700 pounds. Twice as tall as most? Yeah, most people are about six feet, like most men are about six feet tall-ish, yeah. and so, you know, that's a little bit um, more than six feet tall, so it's like two humans tall, or one and a half Michael Jordans. Here is the largest bird, an ostrich, ostrich with its egg. An ostrich can be up to nine feet tall, which is still bigger than even Mr. Coleman, and can weigh up to 340 pounds. How tall is Mr. Coleman's pretty tall. I don't know how tall he is. He's pretty tall, though. A two-foot-long tongue. Holy cow. This must be a giant anteater snacking on its favorite food, termites. The body and tail of a giant anteater is seven feet long, so it's just a little longer than a human, and it weighs about 85 pounds. <gasps> oh, this is Mrs. Flodden's least favorite page. The Goliath bird eater tarantula is big enough to catch and eat birds and small mammals. Its legs are 12 inches across. You guys, that's like the size of a dinner plate. That's a ruler. Uh-oh, Ben's going to torture me with something terrible related to spiders. Where are you? Can I keep going, Ben? Yeah. Okay. Mrs. Haladin does not like spiders. All right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait. This goes bigger. Holy smokes. Woo! That's three pages long. The saltwater crocodile, the world's largest reptile, is a man-eater. Its length is 20, sorry, I had to get closer, 23 feet long. 23 feet long. So Mrs. Haladin's about five foot six inches long, so that would be about four Mrs. Haladins. Whoo! Is that Yeah, saltwater crocodile. Okay. What's she got? Ben's got something here. Come lay it over here. Is this related to the, the crazy spider? Yes. All right, my son Benjamin has a book he wants to show us. This is his one of his current favorite books. Is that true to say, Ben? No, not really. Oh, it used to be. Oh. Okay, you got to be quick, Ben. Oh, here, come lay it down right here. Oh. That's a real one. That is a picture of the bird eating spider eating a bird. Oh my gosh. According to this book, they live in northern South America. They're one of the few spiders large enough to hunt small birds and mammals. It does not spin a web to catch its prey. Instead, it prowls along tree branches at night and sinks its fangs into victims while they're asleep. It's a good thing that it lives in South America and not in California. This is from a book called The Deadly Creature Dictionary. Thank you for sharing, Benjamin. Oh, 
And there's a salt water crocodile. Is there really? Okay, we'll save that for uh, later. No. So look for it now and we'll come back to it. Oh, it's right there. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. The Goliath frog. Do you notice that a lot of these animals are called Goliath? What do you think Goliath must mean? Big. Giant. That's right. Goliath means giant. The Goliath frog lives in Africa. It's big enough to catch and eat birds and rats. It's about 36 inches long with its legs extended and it weighs seven pounds. So that's like three rulers long. Eek. This is too close to a great white shark. The great white sharks are 21 inches and they weigh 6,000 pounds and their teeth are four inches long. Here's my hand. So its teeth are as long, oh, whoops, there you go. There's my hand. Its teeth are as long as my fingers and my palm. That is giant. Do you have something about that one too? The huge gorilla and the pygmy mouse lemur have both hands a lot like ours. You see that? What do you notice that's similar about my hand and the gorilla's hand? And what do you notice that's not similar? One thing we both have is we have an opposable thumb, which is an interesting thing that mammals have. Here we go. Oh, the Siberian tiger is the biggest of the big cats. It is 14 feet from nose to tail, and it weighs between 500 and 700 pounds. Ooh, is that the great white shark? Okay, lay that down, Ben. Let's see. Okay, this is back to the great white shark. This is from that same book Benjamin had. It says it's the largest of the sharp-toothed sharks and has a fearsome reputation. It may be found around temperate coastlines in all parts of the world, but it's now quite a rare animal. The great white feeds primarily on marine mammals, such as sea lions and seals, which are killed with a single bite of its powerful jaws. And it Ooh, look at that. It, looks, it lives all over the world. And it's about the length of four humans with their arms outstretched. No, thank you. Well, there's a tiger one. The Goliath beetle, look, there's the word Goliath again. The Goliath beetle is the world's heaviest insect. It is six inches long and it weighs three and a half ounces. So even though three and a half ounces isn't very much, given its weight or its size, it's large, it has a large mass, um, like based on its space that it covers. The rare giant walking stick is the world's longest insect. It's enormous. Have you all ever seen a walking stick at the zoo? They're amazing. They blend right and they look just like a tree branch until they start moving. And the length of this is 22 inches. So it's just shorter than two rulers. This foot belongs to the largest land animal, the African elephant. It has a height of up to 13 feet and it weighs as much as 14,000 pounds. There's my hand. So it's, it's, it's um, foot different. is like almost three of my hands. Mm -hmm. Ben, can you put your hand down? So there's, oh, hang on, leave it there for a second. Come on. Can you put it down for a second? That's Benjamin's hand. So you can see it's like four Benjamin hands. Oh, and here they are again. Whew. I wonder which animal was your most favorite to learn about. Oh, there's a picture of a whole anteater. They only showed his tongue earlier. So I hope you like the story. I thought it was pretty cool. Benjamin, which one was your favorite? Mm -hmm. Oh, it talks about an earthworm. I didn't see the earthworm one. Did we miss that? I think you might have skipped the page. I must have. Yeah, you skipped the page. I think it went, oh, come on. Hang on, we're gonna try to find the giant earthworm. I don't see it. I don't know. Here, let's just read about it right here. The giant earthworm, the giant Gippsland earthworm, grows to be more than three feet in length and an inch in diameter. It's like that. Oh, yuck. It lives in a complex system of burrows where it eats roots and plant material in the soil. Earthworms move by stretching out the front of their body and then pulling up the back part. This motion creates a sucking noise that can be heard above the ground as a giant earthworm crawls through underground tunnels. Ick. That's crazy. What's that? Oh, here, lay the crocodile one down then. This is the Nile crocodile, though, which isn't quite the same. But they're still ferocious. I wonder why the python is in there. I don't know. Maybe we'll read this book next, Ben. Can I hang on to this one? 
Okay, we'll hang on to this book and look at it another time. Okay, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this story. Again, this book is called, ooh, yuck, there's a spider on the back. This book is called Actual Size by Steve Jenkins. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, Colts. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.